take a look at these two photos. Tell me which one do you think is more photorealistic? Now, which one do you think is Nano Banana? Because this is the scary thing. The Nano Banana image is this one. It is completely inferior to the other image. And now you're probably wondering, well, who made the other image? This is a brand new model called Higgsfield Popcorn. The team at Higgsfield reached out because they know how much I love talking about Nano Banana. And they said, hey, we've got something for you that we know is better than Nano Banana. I want to create this video and take them up on their word. So in this video, I'll show you exactly what Higgsfield Popcorn is and what its purpose is. Because I think it's actually really unique and something different that we haven't seen before in terms of all the other platforms. So Higgsfield Popcorn is all about telling visual stories. It feels like I have got my own director in my back pocket, if that makes sense, because I upload an image and then it creates these like really amazing variations of that scene that I wouldn't have ever thought of. So it keeps everything the same in terms of like the architecture, but it gives me different angles, different times of day, different seasons, you know, things I just wouldn't consider. And I think that's great because we're so used to just uploading something. It keeps everything the same, like the camera static and everything and changes everything around it. But this, it's giving me interesting ideas. So if I'm acting as a director, you know, I want to film something, this is giving me all these different ideas. So I've been using this a lot to just give me that extra inspiration when you know I just can't see the next shot. So let's get right into how you use this amazing tool. So I've logged into Higgsfield, I've gone over to Popcorn, and I've created a new project. You do that with this plus button right down here. What it's asking for is four images. So they can be four images of the same project. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload these four pictures. It's three pictures of this beautiful house and an image of Pedro Pascal. So watch this. What I wanted to do is basically mash it up. So what I can say is insert man from image one into all the scenes walking around drinking coffee and sitting okay i could if i wanted actually tell it what to do in each scene right now i have it generating two results i can generate four results if i want and i can say hey in scene one scene two do this so i can actually plan out everything i want then i can set the aspect ratio so i'm going to set it to 16 by 9. so i could go ahead and fill out the scenes or i can go back to auto i'm going to go back to auto and have it do the work for me and i'm going to hit generate for free so it's going to send it to the queue and then within a couple minutes it's going to return the results so i've been doing a lot of testing just to see what it can do so i'm going to show you some of my past results because it's actually kind of crazy so i got this image Look at this. I mean, this looks like it could come out of his Instagram, right? Like just the the blending of everything looks extremely photorealistic. This is the Nano Banana version. Like, come on. So once I saw that comparison, I was like, okay, like what's going on? This is this is extremely impressive. So then I started doing some more tests. And I was like, oh, you know what? Could I change the style? So this is the whole scene animated, right? It looks like a, an animation, right? Quality looks good, consistent, right? We're getting consistent characters in every single shot. That's what I was saying before about this film-like aesthetic. It's not like you're getting a new character every single shot. No, it's it's Pedro Pascal in, in all these different images. Here's another one. This is it watercolored. And you can see my prompt over here. This is not complicated prompting. I'm literally saying, hey, you know, do this from image one, do this from image two, combine them in watercolor study. Like, this looks really good. Look at that, just different positions of him. Like, this is crazy. This looks very, very good. Here's another one. This is a realistic version, and this one kind of freaked me out because this looks like it came straight out of a movie set. The way it was color graded and everything, and it's a consistent color grading, right? So that's like the overall look of the coloring and everything. Like, look at this. This literally looks like he's on set and they're filming something. This one blew my mind. Look at that. It's just Pedro hanging out, drinking his coffee. Very cool. And then I did another one, grabbed another house, and then I asked it, you know, sunny day, couple enjoying the house, but also cinematic and somber tone. And look at this, just like the facial expressions, just like, look at this, like this literally has a cinematic qualities. So this is all to say, I feel like this is a great way, like if you're planning, you know, any sort of storytelling or narrative, drop a bunch of images in here and see what comes out. I mean, that's that's kind of like the fun of this this popcorn, right? It's like you upload something and then you're getting these scenes you would have never thought of. Like if I were, you know, filming this project, I don't think I'd ever take a shot of this or like looking out to the field. Like that's that's very cool. Here's another one. Same house and different people, right? We got this guy just like walking around. It added the atmospherics and everything. Again, very cinematic. Here, it looks like, you know, he's crazy because he's talking to himself. Like, 
this is crazy. This looks like a film set and I haven't seen this quality elsewhere. So whatever this model is doing, I'm, I'm impressed. And then it gets crazier because we can even animate this. You see all this stuff here? We could use it again in popcorn. We can edit it. We can animate upscale. You guys are always asking about upscaling. We could do that right here. We go two, four, six, eight times. Here's some other ones, right? We've got, you know, same couple, you know, even the outfits, right? Look at that. It's consistent, right? Like he's got his backpack, the glasses. She's got her, um, her bag, her notebook, you know, even just like the length of everything is consistent. Again, like this makes it usable because you have that consistency. That's the thing we always struggle for. Then in this one, I took this rendering and same thing. I asked it for different times of day and you can see did a phenomenal job with that. It gave me an aerial and even gave me these really nice close up moments like this architectural detail, like that's, that's great. Like if I'm filming a set or even filming a 3d model, like this is great. This is giving me all these different ideas I wouldn't have had otherwise. So now let's check in on our project. Check this out. Look at that. He's walking around the front. This is a cool cam. Look at that. Again, this is that same house and he's just walking around different poses, but the consistency is there for the architecture, for the character. And again, keep in mind, I only gave him the top half. So it's generating the rest and it's doing a fantastic job. Like the coffee actually has coffee in it. The hands look correct. Like if I had the time, I could literally make a short film, a Pedro Pascal, just going through uh, architectural tours here. Like very, very cool, very crazy. Um, so to show you what it would look like if you were to animate this is you click a shot and then you can actually just hit animate right there. Easy as that. You can give it an end frame too. So it's like a before and after, you know, this is a test I was doing earlier, just kind of like a, an aerial drone shot. You got the waves going and everything, but it's pretty cool because you can, um, you know, if you don't want to prompt or anything, you could just ask to use one of these templates. So pretty fun. Some of them, you know, not hundred percent related to architecture, but I feel like you can, uh, you can leverage that with, you know, some of the ones that are there as well as your prompt. That's definitely an option. The platform is not just, you know, generating you know, images for film, but you could create images with any of the big platforms out there. So you could do your nano banana, your C dream, your flux GPT, all that is available here. So you got a lot here, right? You can do image creation, image editing. You could do video generation, right? You got all the big models in here. You could do the Higgs field model, Hilo, MinMax, Sora 2, VO, Wan, Kling. It's all here. It's really like up to you about like which flavor you want. But I, I've been having a lot of fun with, with popcorn and just like creating these, these awesome ideas. Here's another fun one. This one I was asking it to generate four seasons for this project. And it's like the same project, but in four seasons, like amazing. Like this is all, all I'm asking for. And I was able to do that because, you know, in the world of design, when you create something, you want it to look precise. You can't have it changing details every shot. And like, I'll give you a little detail. You see this like portal here. See how that's visible in every single shot. Like I usually lose that in other AI models. So the development of this is very, very impressive because I did not expect it to beat nano, um, in these types of scenarios. Like that was, that was completely unexpected. You know, I like these unexpected things, right? If this seemed interesting to you, you know, definitely check, check it out. This Hicks field, we're using the popcorn. You can go and check out pricing. You know, they've got a pretty sweet deal, 17 bucks. You've got your pro plan. You could obviously get by with your, uh, your basic plan. It's just, uh, you're going to have fun with, with popcorn and everything. And I think it's going to eat up those credits. So pretty good deal. If you go annual, you're saving 40% there. So if you have any questions about how this works and all that, you know, Drop it below. I'll get back to you. But really, really promising platform. And if you made it this far, you know, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. I'll see you in the next one.